Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included, where we are in the process of uh, building up our uh, bristle blossom farm. Last time we uh, completed the power setup uh, and hooked it up, so now we um, can be a bit more wasteful maybe not wasteful but we can we have a bit more uh, energy at our disposal so uh, I think we can do a bristle blossom farm for which we need to pump water um, we also added one more duplicate and I think that did the trick uh, so that uh, work actually uh, gets done then apparently here on this side we are in the process of draining more water down here so we can make room here uh, so that we can have a bit of gas tanks up here then here on this side we will have uh, the gas generators and we also need a bit more uh, storage for energy currently we are not using that much so uh, i guess that is fine um down here um, I think this spot is in the dark. We would need another lamp there. Let's replace this one with a smart battery. Um, then here we will have another floor. Here as well, of course. Um, maybe not that close to the ladder. This part out, take this part out. And then I think we are getting places. Yeah, here the ladder is also being built. And here this side we then will have solid wall eventually we will have a door somewhere to go out in that direction but that's not the priority right now and once this water is gone I think we will take water from up here and leave that body of water for the uh, for the uh, crop plantation. Okay, 
we finished analyzing this one. Get quite a decent amount of steam, I think. 6.6 kilos. That's not the lowest amount that I've seen. Then eruption period is not that long. Probably a bit of a counterbalance there. And then it's about active uh, two thirds of, of a complete cycle. So uh, we'll have way to wait a long time. So hopefully this water um, is enough um, for now. Take this out, we can take that out. Um, we have food there, our mess hall. So maybe let's move that bed once again and see what we have here. Shall we take another duplicate? Um, operating would be good. This is a bit bunny, a bit uh, of, uh, of an all-rounder. Uh, but I think seeing that we have um, that we have the uh, that we have the next form planned out. We should be good when it comes to uh, to uh, food supply. So and. Here on this side, you can have a stove or an electric grill. The wire is a bit overloaded, but we have to consider we have the massage table on here, which usually we are not needing as we do not have that high stress uh, as well as the, the research stations which we currently are not researching. So probably at some point we will need, well we could still power everything with this one but we would need to switch out the wire so we can carry um, more wattage through it and the grill actually does not require that much so potential load is will be then uh, 1110 um, but actual load it's very low and with the gas grill we can make fried mushrooms uh, once we have bristle berries we can make bristle berries um, once we have meat, we can make meat and we can make fish fillet whenever we come across a bit of fish. Okay. And that 
should help the morale because then our duplicants get better meals, uh, are happier, and that's a good thing. Right, so here we have the good battery. And then a bit of uh, wiring to accommodate that. Is a bit of an issue as um, we now no longer produce power as uh, we have deactivated it as we hooked up the uh, automation wire. Um, we're missing a bit gold, so uh, let's. Make sure that we have the gold. Ooh, cleaning toilets. That's that's a tasty job. We are missing five kilograms of gold. So if we would have made one piece of automated wire out of copper instead of gold, uh, that would have worked out. Do I have set any priorities? I have some, but not for all of them. So you can do research and building here. And for the others, it's not that clear yet. Ooh, skill point. build this battery and let's start loading when we get down to 15 and load up closely to a hundred. And this should help with a bit of the uh, hydrogen going that way as we are not constantly... Yeah, there we see the hydrogen go, um, which will actually then power this uh, anti-entropy thermal nullifier 
cooling down the area around here and uh, we're coming in with uh, 20 something degree we are going out with minus 8 and uh, with this machine running uh, these temperatures should go down even more yeah we're around minus 15 and the cooling previously was just based on the uh, cool environment that we have in here but this of course is not something that will last forever so that's why we had to make sure um, to get something better there so how shall we connect this one up go through here And then probably need power cable up there because we need a gas pump and a gas filter. And for that, I would imagine. We build a ladder here. Um, this room will eventually be extended a bit so that we can. Hmm. I left a bit of space here for the. Um, power control which does not fit so that will go here should not be a big problem so then here we have another floor that we cannot yet dig out and here we have one that we can dig out and I think all beds are full so let's take a pipsqueak instead angle it so it can be put in here with the uh, others um, where we have a tree growing and they can feed on the tree and they will produce dirt in return we have fried mushroom very nice And now the air that's that's coming back is really cool. Does this have an effect? Yeah, around here you see it's it's really uh, taking effect. On this side, it's a bit warm because uh, the dirt coming out of the compost that's really warm. So eventually we will have to move that outside of our base. Here we have another heat source then from here above we also get a bit of uh, warmth in. So maybe at this point um, we can do the roof here 
Ikea isolation to the outside. all these bits need to go okay, and there we saw a tiny bit of dirt being produced 25 kilograms it's not much but it's sustainable Cool, I think we did well, we expanded a bit here on the uh, interior, finished uh, our farm, not everything is planted and finally got the anti-entropy thermo nullifier uh, working um, by replacing this battery up here, so uh, we'll surely make more progress in the next episode so until then goodbye